Welcome to BCB Live. Yes, we are that safest station in the nation. All right, everybody, and welcome to BCB Live, the safest station in the nation. Drive safe, Dave, here on set at the International Studios right here in downtown Mansfield, Texas, bringing it to you from the main stage. I'm telling you right now, I'm excited just to be here today. I know I'm by myself. I know I'm running a little bit solo, but I'm not scared. You know why? Because I'm with you and we're safe. That's the two most important things. I'm with you and I'm safe. I'm going to tell you right now, we've got a lot of show. We got a, as, Ed, as Ed Sullivan used to say, we got a really big shoe for you today. And uh, I got a special guest coming in from the American Transportation Research Institute in just a moment. But before we get there, there's a lot going on. And one of the things that happened yesterday, I hate to report uh, that at least one dead, 45 hurt, hurt bus carrying a band camp kids go, rolled down an embankment off I-84 in New York, upstate New York. I'm going to tell you right now, Horrible scene, as you can see right here. This is just how important it is that we've got to continue to be safe. We've got to continue to find out. We don't know all the details. We don't know exactly what transpired. However, we do see the result. We do see this tragedy that had taken place yesterday. There's still more to come. I'm sure there will be a, a very extensive investigation into the cause and into the culprit and into something like that happened. I do know as it stands, it is a bright and sunny day, so it does not look to be inclement weather as the culprit of this uh, accident. However, we are watching it closely to find out what transpired in something like that. These are some of the things that are really scary out there. You know, 45 kids hurt on a bus, maybe one dead, in a, in a, out there on the highways. We've got to pay attention to what's going on. We've got to stay concerned, and we also have to stay well informed. I'll tell you another thing that was out there. Uh, San Antonio is looking to ban overnight parking on city streets without offering any drivers a solution. So they're basically saying, hey, we, don't, we want you to come in, we just don't want you to park here. We want you to bring us our food, our water, we want you to bring you the necessities, we just don't want you to park here. We want you to drive here, we want you to work here, we just don't want you to be able to rest here. We don't want you to be safe here. So I'm telling you right now, here we are, we've got a city out there and it's all about truck parking. And it's very important. And that's going to be one of the things that we're going to talk about here in just a minute with Autry in just a minute, right after this message um, from our sponsors. I want to thank you for being on BCB Live. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate you. Hey, appreciate you, so you, Andy. Have a good one, buddy. Thank you for joining BCB yes. Live. I want to thank each and every one. Hey, thank you for taking time to, to join BCB Live. I want to thank you for coming on and shedding light. Thank you so much. Loved having you on here. Woo! Great job, Clara. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, and we're back here on BCB Live, the safest station in the nation. Drive safe, Dave here along with Dan over there at Autry Senior Vice President. What's going on, Dan? How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing, Dave? It's good to see you. Man, it's fantastic. Um, I'll tell you what, it's really nice to have you on today, and it's really nice to start talking a little bit about some of the topics that we want to discuss. First of all, I want to know a little bit about your role and about Autry's role out there um, and what y'all do. Sure. Well, uh, you know, ATRI, it's much easier to see ATRI than the American Transportation Research Institute, particularly on a Friday morning. Uh, we're a not-for-profit research arm of the trucking industry. Uh, we work with the motor carriers. We work with truck driver groups. We work with the U.S. Department of Transportation, state DOTs, law enforcement, just about everybody. And we basically pursue issues that are critical to freight and trucking. Uh, economics, technology, safety, uh, environmental factors. Obviously, autonomous trucks and electric trucks are, 
you know, on, on the short list of some of the research we're un undertaking these days. So it's, it's an exciting, it's an exciting organization. And I'm sitting up here in uh, the People's Republic of Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul. I have to confess, Dave, Minneapolis and St. Paul both separately have already passed truck parking bans on streets. So I guess we're ahead of you in a good way. I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so either. I think what it does is it's just a, it's a detriment to, the, to the, the message that it sends and the signal that it sends to our truck drivers and our industry right. as a whole. Um, I think what's necessary is that we, if you want to do something like that, that you offer solutions and that you create and generate solutions. Look, I, I don't mind you taking candy from the baby, but you might want to give them a blanket or something or a piece of fruit instead, right? A healthy option. But you got to, because I'm telling you right now, you're going to hear some crying if you do some of the negative stuff. All right, so so let's talk about some of the topics because I know um, every year, last year, truck parking, and even the year before that, right? Is it two years or three years that truck Three years in a row for truck drivers, number one issue. You, you hit it on the head. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, that, that continues to, to plague uh, this industry. And if we wanna continue to, to bring in drivers, right? And if we wanna continue to bring the, the, the best drivers, we have to address some of the worst issues. I mean, I think if you're going to make this industry better, you have to take a realistic, a holistic approach to creating this a better work environment so that people will want to come into this industry, right? Because if everybody, if the one major issue is that we can't park anywhere, then why can't we do something about it? And, and I think Congress looks to you guys, right, a lot to try to find some of those problems. Yeah. Um Folks in Congress, folks in state legislatures, a, a lot of government staff, they don't understand trucking. And for, for starters, when they found out truck parking was the number one issue for truck drivers, they're saying, you've got to be kidding me of all the issues they deal with on a daily, monthly, yearly basis, truck parking. So it was a big eye opener for them. And I think it's partially why Congress right now slowly is moving forward with a $755 million dedicated truck parking funding program. So it'll go to increasing capacity. At the end of the day, 755 million is probably a drop in the bucket for what this country needs, but it's a good start. And as you pointed out, this tr truck parking being the number one issue, it's on our top industry issues report. That 2023 survey is out right now. Anybody that goes to truckingresearch.org or truckingresearch.com, uh, go right to our website and the survey will be front and center and we urge everyone to take it. We, we'd really like to get a lot of responses because again, as you just pointed out, Dave, all of this research is going to go straight to the decision makers when it's published. Yeah, I, I think uh, a lot of the times we all forget how important our voice is and the necessary reason for it to be heard. And one of the ways it can be heard is that you go out and you take this survey because if you don't have if you don't have the right numbers, um, you, then you don't really have the right sampling and you don't really have the right voice uh, from the American people. And I, I think it's important that everybody and anybody that has an opportunity in the industry, whether you're a, an owner of a carrier or whether you're a um, broker, whether you're a uh, owner operator, whether you're a company driver, it doesn't matter. Your voice is important in this industry and the best way to find out what you see as important, it needs to make the list, right? So that we can get that information out there to everybody involved. Yeah, in, in the world of research, we have painful things like we need a, a valid, reliable sample, statistically representative, and all of those things. It all sounds good, but at the end of the day, we just need thousands of thousands of people to take the survey so that when we give it to Congress, when we give it to decision makers, USDOT, whomever, uh, we can say, you know, you're you're looking at the voice of the trucking industry here. It's not a blip. It's it's a it's a large large sample. So yeah, again, truckingresearch.org uh, survey is waiting for you. We're looking forward to having your responses. Let's talk about some of the topics that you have on there and some of the concerns because I think each of those, and and we've just mentioned truck parking. Look, we have uh, we have a lot on there. We have autonomous vehicles. We have. Uh, detention. Uh, we have um, fuel prices. We have, uh, and, and by the way, you have a new one on there, and, and I asked about it, but uh, and that was legaliz mar marijuana legalization. You even have something like that that's starting to come up a lot more because of what's going on around the country. 
um, and the difficulties that it, that it creates for truck drivers as it's okay for some to smoke it, but it's not okay in our industry to smoke it. Yeah, the uh, legalization of, of marijuana, we just released a report this spring on that. Uh, all of our research, again, is on our website, free of charge. Um, one in four truck drivers don't realize that it's a schedule one drug and is federally illegal. So you have 23 states that now allow it recreationally, 40 states that allow it for medical reasons, which includes stress and tension. Um, so we're seeing a lot of folks in the trucking industry, you know, hit the brownies, hit the THC, and then they don't come back. Over 100,000 truck drivers are in the drug and alcohol clearinghouse for THC positive testing, and they haven't started you know, the return to duty work, uh, and they're not coming back. They're going to drive local and ditch the class A so they can continue to, you know, use legalized marijuana. So it's a big issue that along with truck parking, a couple other nails in the coffin are really what's behind the driver shortage problem we have. Yeah. I, and, and, and let me just tell you, I, I was looking at some of the, the, the issues that are on there. You still have, we haven't even covered nuclear verdicts yet as those often continue to plague the industry as tort reform is without question necessary, not only in trucking, but in this country as a whole. It's almost a big joke talking to anybody outside the United States on how important it is that you have an, a, an attorney in everything that you do here. And it, it, we just become a joke in that regard. But we also need to talk about, I mean, isn't speed limiters gonna be a big topic of discussion as we continue to move forward? I mean, we could sit here and go over topic after topic, but these things, we need to look at, I mean, you, you, speed limiters, isn't that a big thing that's coming up and a big, a big discussion? I know that Washington is discussing it and it's something that we all are gonna get figure out. It, I really believe it's going to happen and just figure out it's a when and how. I have some very mixed feelings, Dave, uh, about speed limiters. Um, <clears throat> while it's wise to manage speed on an 80,000 pound vehicle, what I am really concerned about is the fact that the four wheelers are not going to be governed uh, and they're still going to be going 70, 80 miles an hour. Uh, and we're going to have so much more exposure when trucks are governed at a slower speed. So there, there could be some repercussions to that. It's not a, a slam dunk. You also mentioned driver detention, huge issue. So it's, it's a cause of lost wages. It's a cause of speeding. In fact, we try to make up for lost time by driving faster. The good news is because driver detention has become such a big issue, particularly on our list, the US DOT now has a national study underway to look at the impact of driver detention on safety. And so I'm excited it's gonna be another year and a half before we see those results. But again, you know, Congress funded it, DOT is undertaking it all because, you know, it shows up on our top industry issues report. So again, the truckers voices are, are important out there and they can be heard through the research. Yeah, I, I think that's fantastic. And, and I, I, I just want to emphasize again, why, as we sit here and we talk about these issues, everyone's opinion on these issues matter. And, and that's the great thing about uh, your organization. If, if you sit down and you take the survey, your voice matters on what you think is most important. And I, I think it's necessary that we continue that and we continue the call out to everybody. Anybody in the industry can absolutely take the, 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 the survey, right? I mean, it's not. That's right. I mean, and we want everybody in the industry to take the survey because we want to know what's important. And by the way, believe it or not, Congress, they may not understand all of the nuances of trucking and what it is or any of the, the little things or the big things. They may not always get it, but I tell you what they do understand. And that's the number of constituents that fill out those paperwork. Because if yep. you're willing to fill that out, you're willing to cast a vote on in November. And all of those guys and gals in Washington absolutely realize that. Am I off base on that at all? I, Dave, I like that. You know, I think we might get stickers that say, I voted on Atri's top industry issues list and give them stickers to wear. But no, you're right about that. Um, the, the issues are going to become more and more complex for this industry. Uh, and we need a voice and, and whether it's research or, you know, billboards, I'm not sure what the right answer is, but uh, we do need a voice, you know, at the state capitals and in Washington, D.C. And, and, you know, at Tree's top industry issues list is just another way to do that. I'll tell you what I want you to do before we get out of here. I want you to go ahead and remind everybody what the 
what the website is that they can go to get the, to do the survey, and they can get involved. And by the way, periodically throughout the year, you have surveys and you have questionnaires. It's not just a one and done deal. It's just not one. You have that all the time. You have people can jump in and get their voices heard. So tell us a little bit about that, and then tell us the website. Sure, thank you. Um, again, we're uh, ATRI, American Transportation Research Institute. All of our research is free of charge. We push it out to literally anybody in our contact database. So if you come to our, tr our website, truckingresearch.org, uh, you can sign up to get on our database and we'll push it out to, you know, a half a dozen reports or more every year. Um, and so when you go to the website, not only can you sign up to get the research free of charge, but you can take our top industry issues report. And by the way, anybody who takes it, Dave, gets a copy of it automatically because you can put your name and your email address right on the survey. So look forward to uh, seeing a, a lot more people on the website today and this week. Yeah, you're going to get some more on there today and they need to go to what's the website one more time? Uh, Trucking Research. One word, truckingresearch.org. If you accidentally go to truckingresearch.com, it'll take you to our website as well. All right. And you know what? You'll see me on there later today filling out that report, making sure that my voice is heard. I'll make sure that I get mine done today, and I will make sure that I am on your list. I think I'm already on your mailer, but I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and get that done today because I don't think I voted on this year's yet. So I think I need to get down and knock that one out today. Man, I appreciate you being on today. We've run out of time, but will you do me a quick favor before you get out of here? Will you make sure that you state your name, who you're with, and that you're watching BCB Live, the safest station in the nation for me? Absolutely. Happy to do it. I'm Dan Murray again with the American Transportation Research Institute, and I'm very happy to be on BCB Live, the safest station in the nation. Thanks, Dan. Man, I appreciate you. Have a good day and a good weekend. Take care. All right, everybody. You've heard it straight here from Dan. Make sure that you get out there. Make sure you get on there and make sure you fill out the survey. This is Drive Safe Dave signing off here today on BCB Live, the safest station in the nation.